Hello everyone, I am Rod and I am the Game Design Instructor for the Academy of Entertainment Arts over at Dixie Hollins High School. If you are one of my students, it's Mr. Flowers to you, and welcome to this video tutorial. Good evening everybody. Now that we have our character rigged and skin weighted, it's time to bring him into Unreal. Now before you do this uh, exporting process, I do recommend that you go ahead and skin weight your character. Um, just because it's going to be a lot easier if you do that first. So here's my character, and he has some basic skin weighting done. Um, I can bend my leg. That looks like it'll, it does its job. My arms work. A little bit of a problem there, but close enough, okay? So to get this guy into Unreal, we need to have two things open. We need our Maya open, and we need to have Unreal open and ready to go. Now this is just an empty project. There's nothing in here. It's just a blank project with um, basic stuff. And there's my content. You can see there's nothing here. So what you want to do is you got to keep in mind that you cannot bring in this control rig. And I know we spent all this time setting up the control rig um, but this thing does not work in Unreal. So when we export, we want to ignore the rig. Okay? The easiest way to do that is to select the pelvis and then go ahead and select the skin. Go up to File and then Export Selection. And in the Export window, I want to make sure that FBX Export has been selected. If you don't see it here, just make sure you drop down and find FBX Export. Go ahead and give your character a name. I'm just going to use um, this one here. It's just my male character uh, setup. And then in your FBX Export options, I'll go ahead and collapse this so you can kind of see. This is what it looks like by default. Um, General options. Uh, so under file type specific uh, options here, kind of drop down. Make sure that geometry, uh, smooth groups. Um, you can have smooth mesh checked. This one doesn't really matter. And then reference asset content. Yeah, that one's fine. <clears throat> this first pose that we're exporting is our bind pose. So there's no animations baked to it. So go ahead and uncheck animations because there's not going to be anything on the on the uh, bind pose. And I'm going to go ahead and hit export. Uh, override original. Yeah, that's fine. You may get a warning. It just says that uh, skin definitions, you can kind of read what it's complaining about. Um, this isn't too big of a deal. Just that like we added in the eye bone and this wasn't part of the original bind pose and it's just complaining. This isn't going to break the model, it's just letting you know that there was an, a little bit of an issue that you could go back and fix, but it's not going to really mess too much up. I'm going to jump into Unreal, go into my content folder, and I want to add a new folder. So under Add New, make a new folder, we're just going to call this Character. And inside my Character folder, I'm going to import my character. There he is, male skeletal mesh, open. When the FBX options pop up, uh, make sure that skeletal mesh is checked and import mesh is also checked. Currently there is no skeleton um, information because we haven't imported anything yet. All this stuff looks good and just import. Um, if you don't want to import any materials or textures, you can untick these, but the default should be fine. Okay, and you just get the same kind of uh, output window here. It just says that there were some uh, issues with the initial bind pose, and some things didn't get, um, you know, skin weighted or references to them, whatever. Not, not big deal. We'll just go ahead and ignore that. The game will still run. But right here, you can see our character data is here. We have our skeletal mesh. We have our physics asset and the skeletal mesh itself. First let's go check the skeletal mesh uh, skeleton. Go ahead and double click. That'll bring us into our little window here. 
and you can check all of your bones, make sure they're all there. Hopefully you've named your bones because Unreal is going to need these names to well, animate your character. If you didn't name these and all it, all it says is bone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever, I recommend going back into Maya and naming them correctly. Otherwise you're going to have a headache when it comes to animating. But, um, but yeah, just make sure everything's here. And close that. If you want to look at the physics asset, this is what this looks like. This shows you all of the collisions that are going to happen for our character. You can even play it to see what happens. So that's him doing the ragdoll effect. Now some of these might not be ideal, like right here on the pelvis, you can see this one. Probably doesn't do its justice. It's covering a little bit in the legs here. Not ideal. Um, so any of these, if you wanted to, you could change them. Like this one on the head. That's not very head shaped. You could probably change it to a sphere. A lot of times it does like a sphill, which is this uh, pill shape uh, thing. They're pretty decent, but they're not always what you want. So if you ever have something in here and you want to change it, just select the bone that you're going to change, uh, right click on it, and just go to reset. And you can change whatever it is to a different shape. Like I could make this for the head, I could make it a sphere. And then there you go. You know, it's not that big of a deal. You can always test it, make sure it works. Dink. Um, like this one on the feet, probably make this one more like a boundary box. And then on this bone, I would add a spill here and a spill there. But whatevs, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Go ahead and close this. Um, and then I want to get an animation in here just so you can see how to load an animation. So I'm going to add a new folder. I'm going to call this animations. And this is where I'm going to load all of my character animation pieces. So I'm going to jump back into Maya. And I have not made any animations for him just yet, but if you have any you want to make or you want to just bake one out, that's fine. I'm going to create one just for the fun of it. Um, and whenever you do these, make sure you save them as their own animation pieces. It's going to be easier when you do it. I'm just going to call this um, let's do something funny. Let's do, let's do a kick. So I'm going to grab my handle here and I'm on keyframe 1. You can see keyframe 1 selected. And I'm just going to hit um, S to hotkey it all. And go to frame 24, I'll hit S, I'll hotkey that. And then from here, at some point on my timeline, I want my leg to be all the way out. So I'm going to say probably about frame 6, I want my leg to be kicking forward. So I'm going to bring this leg up. And I will rotate the ankle so that it looks more like I'm kicking. Yeah, it looks like it'll do. There he is with a kick, and then he's bring it down. Not the best kick in the world, but you can see that at this point here. His knee probably should be a little bit more bent and then snap out. So let's see. 
There we go. I'm going to select my skeleton, select my skin, go up to File, Export Selection, and I'm going to go ahead and name this whatever my character is, and then the animation type is Kick. I'm going to scroll down to the Animation tab. I will tick that, make sure that's checked on. And I'm running 24 frames, so bake animation starting at frame 1, and I'm going to end at frame 24. And then I'm going to hit export. And you will see that it's going to go ahead and process. Cool. Let's go load that in. So under my animations tab, I'm going to go ahead and import. Let's grab my character kick. Open. Now, we've already imported our skeletal mesh, so all we want to know, all we want to do is import our skeletal data. We don't care about the actual mesh itself, so I'm going to uncheck mesh. And then in the drop down here, I'm going to choose the mesh from here. There he is. Import. There we go. So it's in the engine, it is working. All that you would need to do from this point is set up the uh, keyboard controls and uh, any, any blend spaces you need. But that is just the basic of how to export the character um, skeletal mesh and then and a basic animation. In the next tutorial, we'll go into more specific details on setting up the walk cycle and the process of doing that. But this should get you started, and I will see you in the next video. Okay? Have a good one.